I wasn't comfortable in my skin looking in that mirror. So it was right around that time I decided I was going to make my skin comfortable for me, which I did. Some of you may have noticed that I'm a fairly tattooed individual. Maybe you guys didn't notice. But it was then that I started getting heavily tattooed. I was feeling comfortable in my skin. I'd look in the mirror then, and I'd feel great about it. But there's always consequences to every action we take, right? And what do you think happened to a guy who already didn't like going out to public spaces and being around people and dealing with people? What do you think happened after I was this, when I looked like this? What do you think happens? People avoided me? Anyone else? Yeah. Thank you, whoever said that. But yeah, I got judged. People did avoid me. You're right. Sometimes, especially then, I had a huge beard. So believe it or not, all 5'5", five, five, 150 pounds of me was totally intimidating. I mean, you guys are bigger than I am. But yeah, people would avoid me. They were scared to death. Crazier yet, if I was like in the grocery store looking at toilet paper, thinking about, yeah, what's going to be the best for me? What's going to be the softest on that tush? I'd be standing there thinking about this, and I would have people from afar looking at me, pointing, and not like, hey, did you see that? I mean like, look at that guy! And it happens. It happened like three days ago at a restaurant. But people would also walk up to me, and they'd just like rub on my arms. <laughs> the craziest thing, and it still happens. It just happened about six months ago. People would walk up to me, and be like, why would you do these? on your face. And they would touch all three dots. Like somehow that's okay, right? <laughs> I mean, you can, you can touch them. Just please ask. I mean, come on. But for a guy who already had no confidence, unless, of course, he was at home alone, admiring his newly acquired tattoos, that shrunk my world up a ton. Because I wasn't confident already, and now people were telling me things like, I ruined my life, that I was disgusting, that they hope I never have children. And I mean, this is, they're saying it. This isn't on my phone. This isn't Facebook. This is one-to-one. -one. This is real. And of course, I decide that I'm, I'm not sure if I can handle being in public. 